Hello, happy campers. Welcome to Singing Nomad. I'm Carla, and today we are going full on subterranean. Now, I'm not claustrophobic, but I don't relish the idea of walking around in the dark at 1,600 feet below the surface. It took me a minute to psych myself into going on this hike, and I had to acclimate to the new environment and atmosphere. This place ain't for sissies, but it was very fascinating and enchanting. What are we talking about? Carlsbad Caverns National Park. It was discovered by James Larkin White. He was an 18-year-old cowhand that was out in the desert watching over the cows, and he saw thousands of bats flying up from a hole in the ground. Well, in 1905, James and his friend began mapping out and exploring the cave, and the smudges that they used to mark the walls are still visible. The young boys were not the first ones to discover the cave. They were the first ones to promote tours. Evidence shows that Mescalera Apache and Spanish conquistadors occupied that area in early 1500s and probably even earlier. Some of the cave formations are stalagmites, stalactites, columns, draperies, popcorn, and flowstone. Lights are turned on every morning and turned off every evening at the click of a button. They can control the brightness and the color. I tried to lighten my footage so you could see a little bit better, but to no avail, it made it worse. But this will give you an idea of how inky this place really is. The big room is the largest single cave chamber by volume in Northern America at 357,480 feet. It takes about one and a half hours to walk it, and it's a relatively flat path. It's wheelchair accessible, but if you get tired and you need to see the light, you can take a shortcut that's about 45 minutes. The bottomless pit in the big room actually does have a bottom. Recently, three cavers made the perilous descent at 140 feet to retrieve trash thrown in by visitors. Anything thrown into the pit has to be removed to protect the fragile cave Three cavers found in the bottomless pit, a bullet casing, a lug nut, a Jolly Rancher, five plastic bottles, a package of Belveda biscuits, three lip balms, two keys, and $14.36 in coins. Lastly, let's talk about the bats. Ugh. Anybody that knows me well is shocked that I put a picture of a bat on my thumbnail. I get really creeped out even touching the picture. If you're interested in bats, they do offer a bat flight program. Every late May through October in the summer, you can come in the evening and a park ranger will educate you about bats before they take their flight and search for food. Now we're not talking about one or two bats. This is 200,000 to 500,000 bats. And during migration, it gets up to about a million. We didn't stay for that part. But your kids might enjoy that. It's quite a sight. The caverns are located 20 miles southwest of Carlsbad, New Mexico. The fee is $15 for adults and age 15 and under get them for free. Wear comfortable clothes comfortable shoes, and depending on the season that you visit, you might want to bring a light jacket.
Thank you for spending time with me this week. I really enjoy sharing with you my camping and travel experiences. I feel like you're going with me and I'm not alone. So thank you. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next week.